Hi everyone, I'm Jesse DePlantis. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can never miss any faith building words that God has for you like the ones coming right now. Watch. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to Faith the Facts. You know, lately I've been watching people running for things, you know, they want to run for governor, they want to run for senator or, you know, whatever, you know, or if uh, somebody loses that wasn't supposed to lose, people think, well, the party's going down or this and that and all that kind of stuff. But you know what? You need to become a candidate. You can be a candidate. You can run for something. I want to talk today that you are a candidate for a miracle. What are you believing God for? spiritually, physically, financially? Is your candidacy at the point that you can get your miracle? Are you willing to decree and declare what you believe in for in front of anyone, anywhere, at any time, at any place? That's what I'm talking about. And say, well, can it happen? It can happen spiritually, physically, financially. It can be the most unbelievable, impossible, yet doable thing. If your candidacy is correct and you are speaking that word and you believe in what you say, and guess what? The miracle comes. Let me give you a scripture. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20 and 21. Some of my favorite verses here. Because Ephesians is my favorite book in the New Testament. Listen to this. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we ask or think. How's it done? According to the power that worketh in us. Unto him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages, world without end. Amen. Which means yes, and so be it. I like that. Now unto him who's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all. Ooh, and watch this. You can ask. Then he and God just takes it to, to beyond with your mind. Or think. My God, you can start thinking. And all of a sudden, your candidacy for a miracle begins to come up. And guess what? You win. And you don't just get, you don't barely win. I mean, you receive the whole pecan pie, like they say, you know. It's such a blessing. When will you understand that miracles for anybody that's just willing to believe it? See what I'm saying? Now, I believe in healing. I believe in healing. But no, healing take time. Nothing wrong with it. But miracle, instantaneous. Now, does it take more faith to get a miracle? Well, you have to ask the Lord about that and see what he thinks about that. But I know it, it, whether it's a healing or a miracle, it's a wonderful thing to get them both. So that's what I'm talking about. You know, the other day a lady came up to me. I was praying and I started walking out, moving in the gifts of the Spirit, and she works here. And I just felt a little Lord to tell you. And I went back and I grabbed her mother's hand and, and, and the girl that works for me grabbed her hand. Praying because they said her father had a heart attack. Well, when the cardiologist checked her, he said, you know, checked him, excuse me, he, he went, I don't believe you've had one. I don't think you've had one. Well, something happened between what he had and what he had, and then when the cardiologist saw him. What was it? A miracle. I believe in miracles. <laughs> God, because Jesus said we could. He said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. So that's what happened. And greater than these shall he do, because I go to my Father. Ooh. Now that man was a candidate for a miracle. Isn't that a blessing of the Lord? I hope you're getting this glory to God. I mean, that. This, that's what I mean by faith in this fact. Don't fear facts. Don't even face them. Just faith them. And never lose faith in God and never lose faith in yourself. You don't want to break your faith in yourself. You don't want to do that. You just keep believing. Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we reap if we faint not. Faith the fact. You know, when I hold this card, I kind of feel like I'm doing a talk show, like I'm Oprah. Remember that they used to hold that all the time when they, would, when they would interview people or someone else, whatever they had those. I don't know if they do that anymore, but a lot of people do that kind of stuff. You know, I thought, well, you know, I think I'm going to do that. Hallelujah. What a blessing of the Lord. What are you believing for? What are you believing for? Spiritually, physically, financially. You know, to God, it ain't no problem. All you got to do is simply say, I receive what I believe. Ooh, what a blessing. And then what? Then when you get it and you will, then let the world know and give God glory that he did what he said he would do. That's a candidate for a miracle. And when you understand that, it'll work for you, not some of the time, all the time. 
You can be blessed in the city, in the field, going in. Not some of the time, all the time. Even when the economy's bad, even when the COVID's going crazy, even when you're in a hospital, what we're going to do? Well, bless God, we're going we're gonna to be a candidate for a miracle. And we're going to win this thing. We're going to win that race. So today, your race has already been run, run by Jesus Christ. All you got to do is run in his footsteps and it'll work for you. Faith the facts. Be a candidate for a miracle and watch God do unbelievable things for you. This media is copyrighted by Jesse Duplantis Ministries for the private use of our audience. Any other use of this media or of any pictures or accounts without Jesse Duplantis Ministries' consent is strictly prohibited.